All right, today I want to go over some uh, pretty fun exercises to do before you start a uh, bigger, more detailed uh, drawing. These are some exercises that really just help me to approach um, bigger projects um, over a lot more freely and uh, loosely, help me work more efficiently. Um, you can use a regular pencil, but I prefer to use colored pencils, in my opinion. Um, I feel like they have like a better roll on the paper, but that's just my opinion. And it shows, the color shows better on the camera. So here's how I would generally go about doing these loose sketches. We're just not too thinking about hard details at this stage. We're just trying to, um, be a little inventive at this stage, kind of put in Quickly jolt down my ideas, I lay in a line of action. I think I want to swing a little more over here. Head. Really just kind of bring, laying down the framework at this stage. This one's gonna have a little more of a Superman glide here. But as you can see, just not being too self conscious about erasing or anything. The main idea is to try to get into the habit where you're able to put down your ideas and stuff and without erasing. That way, when you do come to the point where um, that you can't erase, you're a lot more prepared for it. What really helps me be a little more inventive with my poses is to really focus on that line of action in the beginning stage and then just build off of that. I like to begin my line of action with just really just swoops of movement like uh, making a curve like an S like curve, a C like curve, like kind of like this and then I can visualize okay. Uh, this is the spine right about here, and this is the leg that comes down from right about here, and I would build off of that, so just put a foot in there. 
and we'll just add his other leg right here, projecting off of that. And this gives a lot more uh, life into your drawings than just simply um, blocking step like uh, step by step like uh, this. I could have did it like that, but see how stiff that looks in comparison. I mean, I don't know what that is now, <laughs> but as you can see, the benefits of using gestures. And all this just comes with practice. The more you practice and put it to work, you'll improve. Consistency is key. If I was doing a little more detailed projects, I would be a little more uh, self-conscious about the mistakes that I'm doing here. But for the sake of the video and for the time of essence, I'm not going to worry about that too much. If you feel like you're doing the exercise and you feel a little too self-conscious um, about your drawing, try to time yourself for like a minute a piece. This was what really helped um, me in the beginning to just loosely just get down these poses and uh, put them into your um, memory um, because it's really important. Even if you did 30 seconds actually, it would be really good for it. The really powerful exercise do here. But as you can see, that's basically how it's done, how I go about it. All right. Um, I think I'm going to head on to inking a little bit of it. I'm not sure if I'll do all of them. I think I'll just do a couple. Oops. I never really try to think too hard about the design. I really just try to just, uh, if it makes sense to me, like if it looks good, just uh, put it down. Have more fun with my drawings that way.
All right, I'll do the rest of these in speed time. All right, so there you go. Now I'm not gonna work in too much detail in these because that will kind of defeat the whole purpose of the exercise, but that's uh, generally the exercise I do to before I do um, larger drawings and it works pretty good for me. I hope it works pretty good for you guys. If you're new to the channel, um, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I do new videos every Thursday. All right, have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.